My name is Mike Feinberg from Houston. Oh. <laughs> Wrong speech. I remember my first difficult day at KIPP was the summer of 1996. It was the most difficult day at KIPP because I remember Mr. Feinberg and Ms. Dipple telling me I would go to college. I remember being the youngest of three older brothers and three older sisters who never graduated high school, and I thought, why would I go to college? I remember my commitment to go to KIPP that summer. I remember Mr. Feinberg committing himself saying he would do everything in his power to teach me. I remember waking up at 5.45 a.m. to catch a 6.10 school bus. I remember waking up before the sun came up and getting home after the sun had set. But yet, I remember being told I would go to college. I remember doing homework in the kitchen while my family went to sleep. And I remember having my teacher's cell phone numbers. I remember calling teachers at night for help on homework. And I remember being told I would go to college. I remember being on porch and missing an Astros game. I remember my dad having seizures. I remember being handcuffed in front of a cop car because of my brother's poor decisions. I remember my brother going to prison. I remember learning from my mistakes. I remember, I remember taking Metro home for football practice, walking around downtown Houston at night, getting home at 9, only to start on two hours of homework. But I remember being told I will go to college. I remember there are no shortcuts. I remember being told my dad was sick. And I remember dedicated teachers who work long hours. And I remember being told I will go to college. I remember explaining what a boarding school was to my mother. And I remember KIPP teachers explaining financial aid to my family. I remember having a choice of which private school to attend. And I remember flying to the state of Virginia on my own. I remember Mr. Lopez donating clothes to me because we were the same size. <laughs> and I remember Mr. Lopez teaching me how to tie a tie. I remember the two-day road trip on Greyhound to get to my boarding school in Virginia. And I remember being the first big heart scholar. But yet, I remember being told I would go to college. I remember long hours of school. I remember living in Virginia for four years without my family. And I remember keeping up with KIPP teachers throughout my high school and college career. I remember my mom and dad flying for the very first time to see me graduate from my boarding school in Virginia. I remember my parents sitting front row seats at my high school graduation. I remember my father passing away my senior year of college. I remember walking around Minute Maid Field to get my college diploma. My name is Marcos Maldonado from Houston, Texas. I am the youngest of seven, but I am the first to graduate from college. I have 16 nieces and nephews, and I'll make sure they go to college. I went to KIPP, I climbed the mountain, and I graduated from college. I'm currently working as a juvenile probation officer in Houston, Texas. And just like many KIPPsters around the world, I've seen many things, the good and the bad. But without the dedicated teachers, who are not only teachers, but friends, coaches, second mothers, and second fathers, I would not be where I am today. I am proud to be a Kipster. And without Kip, I would have been running the streets or adding to the statistics of Hispanics in prison. I am one of many Kipsters who have had it tough. But with the support of the dedicated teachers, 
I am one of the many Kipsers who have climbed the mountain to college and beyond. We need more help. We need great teachers. We need more Kips and people who hear the bells to rise to the challenge. Thank you.